Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and I am married to Joel. We got married at 19 and have two beautiful children that we choose to homeschool. And to be able to do that from such a young age and not go into debt and be able to do things like buy our first house, we live a very frugal life. I wanted to address today in this video the amount of comments I've got, not necessarily on YouTube, my little YouTube family is amazing, but comments I've gotten in person about being boring. That is something we get often, people say your life is boring, everything you do is boring, you need to go have some fun, go on holiday, go treat yourself, go shopping and buy loads of new clothes, whatever it is, there's always something. We've always just had people comment and say that we are boring. I have recently started to follow Emmy and Paul over on Frugal Money Savers. I'm sure most of you probably already watch them, but if you don't, go check out their channel. I absolutely adore them. I'll link their channel down below if on the off chance you haven't found them, but I actually don't watch a lot of the type of content that I create. I don't really watch many frugal channels. I watch very different channels from the type that I create, I guess. But I found them out and she was so eloquently able to put the type of life that we live, that people call boring. I just wanted to address what, why people think the frugal lifestyle is boring. Most of you know that things have changed a little bit, but one of my first videos I ever posted, I think it was like the first bit of video I posted alongside another was 60 things that we do not buy. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. I'm thinking of doing an updated one of those because things changed. That was back in June time, I believe, June, July time that I filmed it. It seems like we have a really boring life. If you were to watch that video, you go, well, what do you do? What do you spend your money on? How do you spend your time? The way that we spend our time is really slow and calming. A lot of people I know, they say they have to, they're kind of waiting for their next holiday or their next big exciting adventure or thing. I find that really sad because you're missing out all of that time between the holidays, between the exciting things. And people have said to us recently like, oh, now that Joel's earning a bit more money, will you go on holiday? And yes, eventually we probably will be going on some holidays. That would be really, really lovely. And I'm not saying that holidays are a bad thing at all. But what I am saying is, we really enjoy our life. We really enjoy the slow living. We enjoy our garden. We enjoy a really lovely summer's day when we are able to just go and plod around the garden. We enjoy those cold, windy winter's nights where we can sit and play games on our dining room table all together, or we can sit and enjoy a show together. One that we are starting to love. We're really, really behind on the times. <laughs> when we started from the first series is Taskmaster. It's on BBC iPlayer. It's a real good laugh and they're quite, they're short enough episodes that we are able to watch one in the evenings every now and again. But I personally really enjoy reading my book. My husband really enjoys playing on the PlayStation, typical man. <laughs> but I don't live for the next big thing. I don't, we don't live for the next big adventure. And yeah, the frugal lifestyle people deem as boring, but it's not the frugal lifestyle that's boring. It's your mentality. If you find beauty in the small things, if reading a really good book fills you with joy and like having a really yummy home cooked dinner, spending time together as a family, we have found by living a really frugal life and not having a huge amount of accessible, flexible money, we learn to enjoy these small things. Honestly, I'm really, really glad we have been able to do that because I was brought up very much like we would go on very nice holiday. Well, I say nice. We would go every year on a couple of very expensive holidays. And I remember thinking as I was getting older and growing up and me and my husband started dating that although I've been to all these amazing countries, I've not actually seen any of them because we would go to an all-inclusive hotel where we would stay and never leave the hotel. We might as well have gone to the same place over and over again. Every now and then we'd go on an ex excursion, but not really. And I realised growing up that the holidays I had as a kid are very different from the holidays that, that me and Joel really enjoy doing. Back before we had our second, back in 2018, we saved up for years and we went on a nearly three week trip travelling around Hawaii. It was not a frugal adventure, it cost us a fortune, but it was a huge dream that we had. And we did it as frugally as possible, so although it was expensive, if you kind of compare it to a like a seven day cheap Spain all inclusive holiday, it was still really cheap compared to what Hawaii could be. But we saved for ages, we found the best deals, we found we stayed in a ridiculously run down apartment, we hired a car and drove everywhere, we cooked a lot of our own foods and we, we did all of our own stuff, we went on hikes and my eldest was 
two and a half at the time which perhaps wasn't the best thing like he did have amazing but we couldn't enjoy it as much we couldn't go on the extremely long hikes but i've just learned not having much accessible cash we've just learned to enjoy nature and enjoy the basics joel and i really enjoy a really good walk and we are living such a fulfilled life even though it might not look it from the outside we don't follow the new in thing we're just living in the moment and as emmy and paul over at frugal money savers put it she sort of says that they live in the olden times like they i'm butchering the eloquent way that she tends to explain it but it is that idea of less is more and living a frugal life doesn't have to be boring if you learn to love the simple things we are living this life so that perhaps one day we can too retire early that is our goal that we are going to be able to have grown up kids and retired and a house paid off and we can just do all of the things that we do absolutely love go for amazing adventures and walks and travel when i say travel it doesn't look like how perhaps most people would travel it's a much more basic thing one thing we really dream of doing one day is buying a van and doing it up like all the van life things that you see but then being able to travel europe which since brexit is going to be a lot harder but still doable and that's one thing we would absolutely love to do so i think it's learning that for the short term people see us as boring and do you know what i very quickly learned with the choices i've made in life to not care what people think because people have always had an opinion with the way that we've decided to live our life getting married at 19 having kids at 21 homeschooling there's just a lot of stuff that people have always had an opinion on and we learned very very early on that we just do not care i haven't mentioned this in any of the videos and if you are interested i might be doing a video down there at some point but my husband and i also waited until we were married to have sex and generally we've just done things very different from today's society i'm so happy that we have because you potentially see these people that look like they've got these amazing lives you might look at our life and see that and think that it's very boring but i feel so content and fulfilled and i was raised in a family that technically had money like we had borrowed money it looked from the outside that we were very wealthy but it was a very sad home it wasn't a happy place most of the time there wasn't a contentment there and because my family were always striving for the next big thing so now since i've had my own home since we have got married and created our own life i'm really learning just to be so happy with less normally i map out what i'm gonna say but instead i've just rambled things like that make me so happy we also really enjoy living a frugal life like looking in the fridge and thinking what am i going to cook today that's going to save us money and be really nutritious and yummy and bring me joy and yeah there are times where we can and do go potentially out for a meal and that's exciting but i guess i get more excited about the prospect of eating at home and then one day being completely free financially anyway that's probably all i'm gonna say for today if you would like a better description of what i mean then go please watch emmy and paul's videos they do a much better job at, than i do at explaining <laughs> what i mean being frugal doesn't have to be boring it is your mindset that decides that i feel a lot more content and happy and joyful with a much more frugal life and actually less money than when i was raised with technically a lot of expendable cash a lot of objects and things and material items the joy that i feel now as opposed to then or even when i was working 30 hours a week we had way more expendable cash but i was not happy learn to just be content with less if it means getting a smaller house and cheaper cars and not booking them holidays and enjoying smaller things if you need to change your job to be able to be happier that's the joy that living a frugal life gives you is that you have more control over these things you don't have to stay in a job that you don't like because your bills are not so massive you can look for a job that you enjoy there's so many positives about living a frugal life and i would really encourage you to if you aren't happy within yourself within your life change it you have the control you don't have to live the life that social media tells you you must live you do not have to have the house have the car have the clothes have the botox 
like have the amazing lips. You don't need any of that. And I have times, yes, we all have wobbles. There are times where I'm like, oh, look how amazing. I see someone on social media that has such amazing clothes and they have these amazing lives and they look amazing. And I then go, oh, maybe I should just throw the frugal lifestyle away and go to all these designer shops and get all the fancy stuff. But that's, I know that's not gonna make me happy and I know it won't solve that feeling inside me. It's not gonna make me better. That's my little ramble for today. It was a bit of a short, strange video. But I just thought I would address that, that you can have a very fun, exciting life without spending money. It's your mentality that needs to change. If you have any video suggestions, let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this strange, kind <laughs> of all over the place video. And please go check out Emmy and Paul's channel. They are amazing. Just to give you that encouragement, I guess, more than anything, it just, they make frugality so fun. They make it so joyful, is the word I think I need to use, joyful. I will see you in my next video, guys. Have a great day. Bye, friends.